Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. It's been 36 years since the last eruption of Mauna Loa, which occurred in 1984. What makes this so unusual is that Mauna Loa, for the past 3,000 years, did erupt on an average of every 5 to 6 years and sometimes 8 years. Back in 2015, Mauna Loa alert level was raised to yellow. It has once again been raised to yellow. It also, too, is perhaps the tallest volcano in the world, rising up um, about 5 kilometers below sea level to a height of 4.1 kilometers above sea level. Its total height is perhaps about 9 kilometers tall. So that would be about 5.9, almost 6 miles tall this huge volcano is. Here we have an image of its magma chamber coming up from deep within the earth. You can see here on the side, I'll pull it over. We got kilometers in depth, 80 kilometers, 10 kilometers, um, all the way up to zero. Anything above sea level would be minus. On this map, there's been 21 earthquakes in the past week. We got minus 3.4 kilometers in depth, which would mean it's above sea level, this magnitude 1.8. So that would be about 2.1 miles above sea level. So the top of Mauna Loa is 2.5 miles above sea level. So this earthquake would be about one half of a mile below the top of this volcano. Next, there was a 2.8 minus 0 0.4 kilometers in depth. So that would be uh, much deeper. The next one would be a 2.6 minus 0 0.9 kilometers in depth. We have a 2.3 minus 2.9 kilometers in depth. So that would be 1.8 miles above sea level, which means, and it's two and a half miles high. So that's pretty close to the top of this volcano also. We have a magnitude 1.4 that was 3.5 kilometers in depth. So that would be 2.1 miles above sea level, almost to the top of the summit. We have magma rising up. So what direction will the magma flow? Will it flow this time all the way to Hilo? Um, yeah, it's there's been multiple flows. Let me get a map for you. Here's a picture, an image, showing the different lava flows on hawaii.ed.edu. Can you see them? We got 1859. Over here, we got 1984. And I'll use Google Earth. We got 1949, 1980. See how far a lot of these lava flows have um, covered much of the island. This is why it's called a long volcano. Uh, recently, I don't know, I think it might have been this year, Lava tubes from the Mauna Loa um, eruption going to Hilo uh, recently have been found where the ground collapsed as the uh, lava made all its way to uh, Hilo. And you can see all these different lava flows. Some of them I marked out. But you can see them with Google Earth, the black of these lava flows. And another threat, we got the rift systems, which I have marked out in red, where in the past there was, um, yeah, slumps, landslides. The uh, one for Nicoli Hills, I believe how it's pronounced. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Um, that landslide, when it crashed into the ocean, created a tsunami somewhere between 150 and 200 meters high. 150 meters is about 490 feet, where 200 meters is about 660 feet. Can you imagine a tsunami? And you can kind of see the uh, line of the hills where this landslide occurred. And I've talked about um, the Mauna Loa landslide. They think this one here for for the Nicoli um, Hills landslide took about oh, 10 to 15 minutes for it to crash into the ocean. 
kind of in slow motion. But the tsunami would have wrapped around all the islands, uh, would have struck the uh, U.S., West Coast, etc. And then we got the, um, and then you have the Helena slump as well that could occur. Do a Google search for Hawaii landslides. There's one uh, note here from San Francisco, I believe it is. It says, almost imaginable. A tsunami more than 1,000 feet, 300 meters high, bearing down on the island of Hawaii. This article is from 2012 when uh, papers were submitted showing that uh, 100,000 years ago there was a collapse of the volcano creating this huge tsunami. Scientists also believe that landslides there on Hawaii happen, happen about every 50,000 years. But there was another one just 13,000 years ago. Now, back in 2012, they didn't know about the landslide for the Nicoli Hills. And as of 2012, they had identified at least 15 giant landslides that slid off the Hawaiian Islands in the past 4 million years. USGS has a map. It says the Island of Hawaii landslide accessibility areas. Red would be very high. Orange would be high. Um, I, yeah, you can't really see it. we got an area up here. All along over here at the top of the island. And let me bring it down. Let me pull this down for you. Yeah, we got the uh, near the uh, rift zone. And I'll pull this over so you can see it. And I'll give you a link to this paper. All these areas have built back up since their landslides. And I'll zoom into the most recent earthquakes, which has me concerned because of this rift zone that goes right through here, which has the potential of creating a, a landslide all the way over to Captain Cook and then all the way down south here to South Point. So there on Hawaii, you have the threat of volcanic eruptions. You have the threat of earthquakes. You got the threat of landslides, tsunamis. To a population as of last year, 1.416 million people. The lava flows from Kilauea um, have been the longest known lava flows anywhere in the world. It has been erupting since 1983. Many people have become complacent of all the threats that they live there in paradise. But things are heating up. And I think about the Bible prophecy where all the islands are going to move in the end times. I believe that happens when the seventh angel pours his vial into the air. And let's go down here and it says, And every island fled away and the mountains were not found. Verse 15 says, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watches and keeps his garments, lest he walks naked. And they see his shame. Yep, I think 2021 is going to be worse than it was in 2020. And a lot of people know that after Kilauea erupts, Mauna Loa often erupts. And it's been 36 years since there's been an eruption. Are you prepared? I hope so. Um, like I said, many people just, oh well, can't do anything about it. Just continue to uh, sing and dance and party. What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.